Hi guys, this video is just a very quick video about why I feel so strongly about April the 3rd or April the 18th. So I went on Wikipedia and I searched up April and um, I'm just seeing that I've done some of this research before and I've made a video about it a long time ago, um, probably last year sometime. I'm just going to quickly reiterate some things. So April's birthstone is the diamond. Obviously in the iPad Gold video, we have a direct reference to a diamond on this skeleton's hand. As the scene develops, we then see that the skeleton is wearing a flower in his hat, and that flower is a daisy, and the birth flower of April is either a daisy or a sweet pea. In this case, we have the daisy right there. In this scene here, I pointed out in my video yesterday that we appear to have the Statue of Liberty and then developing after that we have the Star of David which kind of points us in the direction of Israel so Israel and New York which is where the Statue of Liberty is based and uh, this year the uh, Independence Day of Israel starts in the evening of April the 18th and ends in the evening of April the 19th and there may be some celebrations in New York um, for Israel's Independence Day. Israel is preparing for its 70th, 70th Independence Day and Cultural Minister Miri Regev has plans for Israel's friends and allies abroad. In this scene we also have this image over here with this uh, iceberg sort of thing going on and then we've got what I can see, what looks like the number two, followed by another two, and then the number three. And obviously I pointed out those connections before because they do appear, <laughs> excuse me, they do appear in the video elsewhere, which I'll get to in a few minutes. But two and two, I'm calculating as four, and three is obviously April the 3rd, or well, if you're looking at the lunar calendar, that would be April the 18th, the third lunar month in the third lunar day. So, having found those connections, I've already pointed out the fact that I think this could be a slightly erased A, and we've got the three drops here, which point to three, April 3rd, or again, April 18th, depending on how you're looking at it, either Gregorian calendar or lunar calendar. Um, then you've got another A here, and number three, we then have, I've already pointed out how this bottom line doesn't seem as if it has been drawn um, in connection with the others, rather it's separate. So what's left is the letter A, which makes up the frame of the house, and the number three, which is on the side, or you've got three and three, which could be the third lunar month and the third lunar day. Um, then we have the teacher's hair over here, which is the twos upside down and the three again. I think that's referencing four and three. So April 3rd again or April 18th. In this scene here, we appear to have what looks like could be a depiction of 12 months and April the fourth month appears to be the one sitting closest to the exit. Um, and then, <laughs> it just keeps going, <coughs> and then we have the LC scene here, which I've already pointed out that the C could, you know, indicate um, the number 3, and uh, if you join that up with the 15 here, then you've got 18, um, which corresponds to the 3rd lunar month and the 18th lunar day, which is, sorry, the 3rd lunar month and 18, so uh, April the 18th. Um, and then, obviously, some other things I pointed out as well, which is upside down the Psalms 23. Over here, you've got an etched in 18. You've got the 3. Um, you've got the A, which joins up with the connection with the tail of the 3. And then some other uh, images are depicted, like uh, an earthquake, tsunami, uh, EMP, submarines. Um, and some other and some other stuff I've gone through in a previous video. Um, then you've got over here, you've got 
a number three over here again, and three here, third lunar month, third lunar day, April the 18th. Um, something I wanted to point out here is this tower, if you look at it, the lines and stuff, they actually make up, you know, one of those medieval helmets facing this way. So you've got like where the eyes would be, the open part, and then the shield part of like that guards the, the chin and stuff coming down. Um, you know, coming across. It's one of the medieval helmets. I don't know if you can see it. It's got the cross on the top. Kind of like the, uh, I can't remember what they're called. But, you know, back in the day, these uh, people that used to fight for, like, Christianity and stuff, um, they used to wear this kind of chainmail outfit. This is all chainmail. And this is, like, the helmet. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but, you know, I think that's... If you just focus on this part facing this way, this part being the eyes, and then you can see the rest of the uh, the helmet, which makes up one of those medieval chainmail kind of things. Also, this dark shadowy part on the side, if you just focus on that, um, I'm going to point out something here. This white line here and this white line here, they appear to be slits eyes. And then you have like, uh, kind of like a grin and a pointed chin leading down into what looks like kind of like a pointed beard and the head coming up and over again and the reason I point that out is because we've seen an image like that before which is on the chalkboard which is the same kind of pointed chin coming up with the you know elongated head and the kind of evil grin with the slitted eyes so they used this, uh, this demonic image several times I think it's in reference to uh, like a joker and that's obviously in connection with April Fools because on April Fools people play jokes um, on each other and this is kind of like the joker the trickster um, that's why he's grinning and uh, you know it kind of all kind of connects together and uh, in the boy's eyes you've got uh, JK pointed out the three and the three over there which is uh, again could be the third lunar month and the third lunar day and um even when the Psalms is the right, right way around, you could take this as an L and you could take that as a three, um, which is, you know, the lunar third, which is in April, April the 18th. Um, sorry, not April the 18th, uh, April the 15th, 16th. And then um, you've got the 18 etched in over here. So lunar third, 18, all corresponding to the same kind of April time frame just a few more the this scene here with the blue man we've looked at this as the number 23 um following the kind of inline the black inline inside the red lines but what i can see now is that if you follow the red lines it could be a three backwards and a three forwards so that mirror opposites three and three you see that follow the red lines and do it backwards and then opposite three and three third lunar month third lunar day um obviously i pointed this out as well the the scene that looks like a giant tsunami or a cliff rock face whatever it is um appears to have the word april written within its structure and then uh actually i think that's it so there's all the reasons there why i'm thinking april the 18th april the um this is exactly why i think these these things everything seems to be uh um connecting connecting together so as i said i feel like uh Passover is referenced in the video, which is March the 31st, um, and some events may happen before that, which leads to the mosque, which I think may be the Al-Aqsa Mosque, being bombed, or maybe something symbolically like that, um, which leads to the events escalating, and then come April the 3rd or April the 18th, um, these other events that we've talked about um, potentially happen.
so in complete disconnection with the April 3rd, April 18th video that I've just done, um, I just wanted to point out that Britain exposed 23 Russian diplomats over nerve agent plunging into worst battle with Moscow since Cold War. So I've already pointed out the fact that, you know, Russia and their submarines have been traveling through the English Channel. They've been probing British airspace and other NATO allies' airspaces. They've got um, nuclear capable missiles um, on the edge of Europe. So they've really kind of stepped up their aggressive stance in the last couple of months. They've just tested their uh, hypersonic missile. They've got their nuclear drone canyon uh, ready to go. Um, they've positioned troops along the border of Russia and uh, North Korea. They've, they've done a lot. So in response to the nerve attack or the, uh, you know, chemical attack, um, we've expelled 23 Russian diplomats, which um, is going to really push the alliance that the UK has with America in terms of will Donald Trump, what will Donald Trump do? This is the question that um, is being posed at the moment. What's going to happen with Donald Trump? Is he going to support the British? Um, I saw when he was uh, doing a quick uh, interview with the press, he said that he would support whatever the British government, you know, came up with in terms of, you know, results. But he has been very slow to criticise and punish Russia in the past. And uh, the reasons for that are unknown. You can take your guesses. But this is going to really push things. It's really going to push things. And this is the reason why I think um, Britain is also encoded in the IPEC GOAT video, represented with the pound coin that we see in the classroom um, with Obama and the LCC with the pound kind of partially under underneath his foot. Um, and the reference that I pointed out on the chalkboard, where it appears that the submarine, if you take this part of it up to the fins here and the line through, then you've got the symbol of the pound coin. Um, and there's another representation of the pound coin as well, which I believe is um, outside in the Psalms part of it. Actually, it's better if I show you on this image in the Psalms part of it, this part here where it kind of bends round and you've got the line through. Again, that could be a representation of the pound coin symbol kind of on its side, something affecting the UK, uh, Britain, which is only uh, kind of more emphasised with the fact that the stuff going on with Russia at the moment um, appears to be reaching a point of no return. Back to the Cold War days. So, you guys, that's the end of my video. I hope you can see why I think April the 3rd, April the 18th um, is when these events really happen, kick off. But I also understand that there's a potential for events to begin in March, particularly in the Middle East, where Israel and Iran are really at each other's throats at the moment um, and appear ready to, you know, get into that whole conflict. And... Um, with Donald Trump taking away or firing Rex Tillerson um, and putting Mike Pompeo in his place, um, he is more of a hardliner on, on Iran, and it's likely that the Iran deal will um, be, in, be in jeopardy. And um, if things like that are to happen before the end of the month, then we may see like something next week in reference to the Iran nuclear deal. Um, and then from there, things could just escalate. Um, particularly on Passover, March the 31st, the full moon, blue moon. But we'll see what happens. So you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and God bless. We don't know if those percentages are going to hold in each of these precincts, but is there enough if you're getting 53, 57, whatever percent of that 6,000 versus what uh, a lamb is going to get out of those remaining 3,000 or so in Allegheny? And again, you do the math right there. We did it a minute ago. 918 votes. That's the margin right now. 918 votes is the lead. That looks like a four. 918 for Connor.